How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is your boy Mars. We are going to do some more drag cars as you guys see in the background. Got the Boss 302 Mustang. Super cool looking Mustang. I got two tunes for you guys. One's going to have a thousand horsepower and the other tune is going to have 1500 horsepower. So everyone new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and um, let's get right to it guys. As you guys see, you got the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Let's go right to the upgrades, custom upgrade. And as you guys see, got a couple engine swaps here for it. Um, we are going to do the 6.2 V8 and also the 8.9 liter V8. Um, so let's drop in this V8. Gives us 1,009 horsepower without the oil and cooling. And the torque is going to be 846, weighing only 2,500 pounds. So that's pretty dope on that end. Um, let's leave it where we'll drive and let's put in the twin turbos. Um, let's go right over here to the build. Pretty much put everything race besides the oil and cooling. No oil and cooling and full weight reducted. The oil and cooling only gives you 8 horsepower but a lot of weight. No need for that. Rally on the suspension. Everything else is going to be race, as you guys see. And uh, no roll cage, no need for roll cages anymore. Let's go over here. Everything is going to also be race. There we go. And then uh, drag tires, of course. Drag tires. Make sure to pick these drag tires. Do not pick these. Alrighty, pick these. No width in the front, full width in the rear. We got 345s. Really, really nice, massive back wheels there. And uh, any wheels you guys like that are super light, um, they do tell you the weight of the wheels there. Do the spacers in the back, just make it look a little bit more aggressive. And uh, that is it. Nothing else to do with the body on the vehicle. Um, let's go right to the two. So we got uh, 40 in the front, 15 in the rear, uh, 2.50 to 65, 0 to 100. Traps around 215, 213. Um, and here we go. The gears, guys, 3. 32 uh, 370 210 160 125 1 and point 80 zero everything out in 7 65 65 soft in the front stiff in the rear at 592 and the vehicle raised all the way up and then I got equal distribution at 114 14 1 nothing with this or this and 100 and 100 if you guys want to do reverse burnouts you guys put this towards uh towards the rear there you can do like standstill reverse burnouts but i think the cars now in the game they do it automatically so that is it let's save it up there let's take it out for a little spin and then we're going to take it to the quarter mile and also the half a mile uh with this car so it looks like it is raining we are in a new season here and the season is raining left and right but uh let's take it out for a little spin Sounds pretty good. Let's go and uh, let's fast travel real quick to the quarter mile because uh, primarily this car is going to be a quarter mile car. And then um, I'm going to show you guys the 1500 horsepower, and that one is a half a mile majority of the time. Probably more than half a mile than a quarter mile. You can use them for both. That's the good thing about both of these tunes. You can use them both both uh, to launch the car even though it's going to spin with all this rain all you got to do is press e brake gas uh, and making the tunes a lot simpler for you guys so you guys can uh, practice and get better with it we got 22 pounds of boost torque is 628 2100 rpms all you got to do is let go of that um, it shouldn't spin if it does all you got to do is get those tires hot just transition the gear real smooth and you're going to drop finish off the fifth gear here and you're gonna, uh, like I think it does a little bit higher, uh, but since it's still rain, it has the floor all wet, it, uh, it ain't gonna trap as high. But yeah, so a real simple tune, guys. E brake gas, uh, make sure to do that little rev up that it does. And, uh, all the gears will grip, uh, 
very smooth. It's just that it's uh, pretty, pretty wet on the floor there. There we go. Super nice. I think on the, uh, that's like a seven or so, on the half mile. Which, uh, this is a little bit longer than a half mile. Uh, this is 0.6 instead of 0.5. Always take a look at that. It is not uh, an act, you know, it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, super nice, easy smooth tune for you. The car revs, um, every time you shift it, you guys see that it's a little bit higher than 6,000 RPMs. Um, and that's on purpose, that's so they can always stay in the power band, the car doesn't bog on you. Um, let me give you guys the share codes for both of them, real quick. Let's go right over here and. Um, Let's go down over here. Let's do the share codes really quickly. It'll be all the way towards the end here. So this is the uh, 1,000 horsepower one. Here you go. 300, 163, 676. And this is the one with 1,500 horsepower. There you go, guys. 157, 743, 827. So that is the one with 1,500 horsepower. Um, so let's uh, load up the 1,500 horsepower. By then, it should be all sunny and it should be pretty good with the grip there <clears throat> here we go guys let's look for the other one the other one is blue so what I did I just bought two of them and then I um, made one specifically for 1500 horsepower so it made it just a lot easier I don't have to save you know when you have money you can do it Let's go right over here, and as you guys see now, I have the 8.9 liter V8, which gives 1,500 horsepower, 11 foot-pounds of torque. This is my favorite sounding engine, uh, that is V8, uh, 2,700 horse, uh, now weighs 2,700 pounds, um, but I mean, 1,500 horsepower compensates for that. And of course, leave it real wheel drive, and let's go right over here, let's uh, put rally on this suspension, everything else is going to race. So identical on the suspension part of it when it comes towards the build and also with the tires. Make sure to have the same drag tires. Do not use semi-slicks. They are not going to grip more. Uh, they're actually going to grip less. Um, as you guys see, you know, width in the front, full width in the rear at 345s. And then whatever wheels you guys want that are super light, drop those things in there. And the size of the wheels, just always leave that alone. No need to make the wheels bigger. Now we got 1.80 0 to 100 traps, 266 there. We got um, 50 in the front, 15 in the rear. And then we got uh, 220, 340, 240, 180, 135, 105, and 80.80. .80. Zero everything out in seven, 65, 65. Soft in the front, stiff in the rear. Race all the way up. And then equal distribution at 115, 15, 1. So this is really good. It, like it, it, it it bounces up and then when it drops back down the suspension I mean it, it does pretty good on on this equal distribution nothing with this or this and 100 and 100 let's take it outside since we are right next to the half a mile let's bring this thing outside do a couple passes with it and uh, that will sum up the video just listen to this car the way it sounds on idle it sounds beautiful that 8.9 liter V8. 8.9 liters. Alrighty, so let's uh let's get the tires hot. We can do a standstill reverse burnout. Uh, primarily almost all the cars you can do it on it's real easy. Just hold the brake and throw it in reverse. Uh, but yeah, to launch the car it's gonna be real simple, e-brake and gas. Uh, we want to get that little rev up like that. And then now we got 22 pounds of boost, 11 foot pounds of Freaking torque at 3,400 RPMs. As you guys see, nice little soft little wheelie on the front end there. And, uh, smooth, smooth, smooth. We uh, transition there throughout. 205 now. We're trapping in the half a mile. Remember, this is a little bit bigger than a half a mile, so it should do a little bit uh, lower on the real half a mile. Yeah, man, this thing sounds beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice chopped out, cammed out, idle sound to it. Really nice. E-brake gas, let go of the e-brake. There you go, real smooth tune. Uh, remember guys, start learning 4K launch. 4K launch is the best launch you can do. Um, 4K launch will make this car probably wheelie up in the air. And, uh, get a real good, real nice response time practice on that 4K launch. 
that will sum up the video. Hope you guys like it, subscribe, enjoy, and I will see you guys around with another drive to the video. Peace out, everybody.